Hello, boys and girls! Welcome back after uh, the trip through the nether where we gathered some resources last time. Today we are back on a tower, uh, this time on the one that's more uh, agricultural because uh, I've been flying around a lot. We do have a gunpowder farm back there in the small hole, but for rockets uh, we need not only gunpowder, we need also paper and currently that's set up like down there, very manual. So today I plan to build a really small compact farm um, not sure if this space here is enough, um, but the thing here is the principle is the same as with the auto farms, but as I plan to have a building around it, it does not have to look that nice. Uh, it's more for compacting things as much as possible. So. Let's start with the with the first steps then. And here we can already see the difference between most of the sugarcane farms that you see, because we have two rows and the rows are facing each other as opposed to uh, out of each other which means we can have one water channel here in the middle that's shared by both sides. And then the collection uh, will come to that how the sugarcane is, is broken, but eventually uh, it will land either on the sand, uh, go into the water and drop down. Then of course down here we have collection system, uh, rail that sneaks through all these three uh, lines, picking up the things going up here and unloading into this chest. We have the same system here as we already had down there for the wheat and then back there the minecart will just return. So it's all nice and easy and uh, with this setup uh, having here open fence gates I can even walk in here and then swim up and get into the farm. Uh, that's probably something you cannot do with, with some other designs and on here now, uh, we start with uh, uh, the uh, pistons that will break the uh, uh, the uh, sugarcane, also here on that side. And then on top, we need observers that are facing inward, uh, so that when the sugarcane grows three blocks high, um, it is detected um, and we can deal with that. Now, to make this a bit easier, I will place some blocks back here uh, just for placing the observers. Right, and then basically we will need one block here because here we need a bit of redstone that takes the signal output from the uh, observer to the block and uh, powers the piston and then of course same thing on the other side. 
As you can see, I have put a roof on this farm so that when the sugar cane is broken, it cannot uh, accelerate upwards and out of the farm and everything is collected. So the footprint of this farm is seven wide. Uh, it's basically infinitely uh, tileable lengthwise. You need one uh, block on either side for the minecart to turn um, and you could even stack the farm on top of each other one layer above the other uh, and depending on how much sugarcane or paper or sugar you need that's probably you want to do having it stacked rather vertically then have one form uh, spaced out uh, horizontally. You then, of course, have to deal with uh, getting minecarts up and down, which may take a bit more space, but that's uh, all there is. I mean, this is a is a pretty compact design. So, hope you enjoyed this one, and I will see you soon with another project. Until then, goodbye.